Good morning viewers, hope you are in a good condition and healthy. Welcome back again with me, Renata Shina in Thomas Aquino News. The latest news, update and trust. Air pollution in Indonesia, especially in Jakarta and other big cities, is a serious problem that affects the quality of life of residents. According to the Air Quality Life Index, AQLI, Indonesia's population is estimated to lose 2.5 years of their life expectancy due to current air pollution. The most significant health impacts due to particulate pollution occur in Depok, Bandung, and also Jakarta, where particulate pollution concentration levels reach the highest levels. In addition, based on the latest IQ Air 2021 World Air Quality Report, Released in March 2022, Indonesia was ranked 17th as the country with the highest level of air pollution in the world, with a PM 2.5 concentration reaching 34.3 mg per cubic meter. This report also notes that Indonesia is ranked at the top as the country with the highest level of pollution in the southeast of Asia region. This condition clearly has a very bad impact on society because air pollution is also one of the main causes of various diseases. For example, respiratory problem, eye problem, cough, lung cancer, cardiovascular disease, and another. Many things influence air pollution in Indonesia. One of them is the use of transportation which contributes the larger carbon monoxide emissions in Jakarta. However, it cannot be denied that the city of Jakarta is a densely populated city. People's daily activities cannot be separated from the use of motorized vehicles. The use of transportation is one of the biggest contributors to air pollution. These things trigger increasing air pollution from year to year. Recently, many residents have become increasingly aware of the impact of excessive motor vehicle use on air quality. Some people are starting to use electric vehicles to travel, but in Indonesia, not many people use electric vehicle for one reason or another they are still limited. The Jakarta Provincial Government has taken several actions to reduce air pollution. Some of them include introducing electric vehicles to replace conventional vehicles, imposing emission tickets, and implementing work from home, enforcing odd even 24 hours. In conditions like this, people are vulnerable to disease. Therefore, always take care of your health. Well, viewers, that's all the news for today. Thank you for watching and have a great day.